Not anymore. What's up? Oh, live? Yeah, I'm being quiet. Oh, my bad. I'm supposed to be quiet? I'm live. Shut up, I'm live. Hey, Ariel, I'm alive. I think it's broken. Hey, guys, welcome to Vanishing Gates. I'm your host, Jay, and with me always is, uh, the Melancholy Jack! That's how melancholy I am. Mm, and, uh, <clears throat> I'm fucked with you guys. And joining us tonight is my buddy, uh, Josh. Scoot on. Irony. <laughs> what did you say? What's going on? Oh, they said scoot on. I thought yeah, this I thought was kind of like weird too. cheers. I'm learning English. Slonja! <laughs> I thought it was a let's get her done. Uh, so, uh, guys, what is the cigar of the show tonight? Because I can't even remember. <clears throat> Cooley? It's like it's a Rolly. Rolly. I think it's Rolly. Puros Rolly it's cigars. Rolly. Is it, hold on, they're not bad. Wait, to be honest. Is, the R, is the R in the cigars? You have to roll that too. Mm -hmm. It's so a it's Rolando like, Reyes. Rolly cigars. I mean the cigars. Reyes. Rolando Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> they are rolled. They are rolled. Puero by hand. cigars. Yeah. Say it with me. Rolando Reyes. Puero cigars. Or yeah, cigars. Rolly. Nope. What but you said. They're pretty good. So what happened is I have the subscription service for cigars, and they sent me. Cigars. I think it's so, Orlando. How about you know, that football? That's, that's a good right. question. What do we have to say about football? <laughs> you know what we have to say about football? Welcome to Vanishing Sports. Nothing this time. Welcome to Vanishing Sports. We are going to take over the show. Welcome what to Vanishing Sports. What happened to you, America and the hockey? Yeah. What's oh, going on there? What, what, what happened? happened? What happened, man? That <laughs> we was, lost. What Jeez. is this crap? Like, what is this Russian audience supposed to on, be there right now? What is going on Cheese is rice. All right. Let's focus back, guys. Focus back. Last Good week times. was one of the worst shows, viewer-wise and share-wise, we've ever had. More Guys, please don't forget to like, follow, share, subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends about us so they will never talk to you again. Please also, follow. we have a YouTube channel you should check out. Hey, hey, Jack, what's that YouTube channel, bro? Oh, uh, that's, um, that's, uh, wait, hold on, let me think. Um, no, I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> it's not PewDiePie. It's, it is, it's PewDiePie. No, 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 it's different. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, Vanishing Gates. Weird how I landed that and got it set. Um, My apologies. So Vanishing Gates. He's Vanishing correct. Gates was already taken. No, I had that. I actually like got that. Wow. Trademark. Boom. That's crazy. Crazy. We That's got it. Crazy. Nice. Yeah. It's just nose. Boom. It. You know what I mean? To win it. I got it. In it to yeah. win it. Everybody does love Nick in the chat. <laughs> we love weird. Nick, and we also love our sponsors. sponsors. Nick's Electronics. Us. Tabale. Boom. Tabales. Oh, uh, Bridget has cardiology. Surprising, Watch this week. Whatever, Bridget. Hi, Bridget. Bye, Bridget. Easy. Just keep it alive. Put it in there. Boo bears. Push it in. And you just push that stint into the valves, and you're fine. Yeah. Go for the aortic. I think you should just watch the show while doing surgery. If they die, sell the heart. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll help out. Come yeah. on, Bridget, we got you. We yeah. got We're your back. We love you. Right now at this moment. Just Not send us the questions. The send us the questions. <laughs> we'll answer them all for you. It's fine. Yes, we we'll, we'll help you cheat. You know um, what, James? I will again one day tell the story of why the show is called Vanishing Gates, but tonight is not probably that night. Mm -mm. That said, I do yeah. want to thank our sponsors, um, Dio Sandwich Shop at 429 Grotto Street. Uh, you may know that from a couple weeks ago when Joe, the proprietor of such said wonderful sandwich shop was on we talked about Scientology. God, you know i really love those free sandwiches that he brought to us they were so delicious you are the most I... unprofessional person <laughs> i've ever met in my life you don't have to do that joe sandwiches. we just love you, Fuck you. <laughs> that Why? said if you're in the area and you go to dio's and you mention that you heard about the shop from vanishing gates you will get a discount on your order yes. and it'll be well worth it. You know, I, do I, have I, a, I do have a psa real quick um i'm currently wearing shorts and a t-shirt with sandals and it is 30 something degrees, that was a mistake. It's at least That's, 43 degrees. That was yourself. a mistake. Am I correct? Is, is, would everybody agree with me right now that that's pretty, my Yes, yeah, so you I'm make a sure lot of mistakes. Mistake. I'm pretty sure I told you that before the show even started. That's a good point. He yeah, did. I did. Pretty sure I did. You better cheat your um, way right through. But back to Dio's, Dio's sandwich shop, you know what? I will pay for those sandwiches any damn day. 
They are amazing. Just not today because he didn't do that. No, no. he didn't. I had, I, had, I, had, I had Mexican food. Not today. being very supportive. I did too. Always good. Remember, remember, when we, remember when he was here and I was ta- I was asking about we the live in Northern and California. Ninety percent of the food is Mexican food. I, well, <laughs> you know what? But we have that one. Don't place. get me wrong. It's delicious. And we I have love that it, one place still. though that delivers. <laughs> right. And, that is you know, true. That's the only reason why I went to him because I, I, I laid there in bed and got Mexican food delivered to my house. Well, it didn't work, did it? Yeah. Yeah. You found more than you ever lost. Left. You know, I I like burritos. But I, I like Los Galos in the mall. That's pretty good. You know, oh, hey, yeah, whoa. Galos no names and fi- 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 it's not Galos, it's Gallos. Los Galos. Gallos? I can't. I, I, I can't. Go to the Gallo. <laughs> <laughs> Always good tomatoes. You know and what? I don't care. Stuff. I don't care. Delicious. So, back to the Olympics. <laughs> anyway, no. <laughs> now, guys, on a serious note, we are approaching that magical time of the year. Share the damn show and like it. Now, do it. Right now. And send your hate mail. To vanishinggates at gmail.com. R E Jack right. slash hate mail. I'll make sure he gets all of it. You can do the same thing with your Vin Diesel Jack fight fan fiction. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> and the erotic you, fan Can fiction. you believe what he actually said about Vin Diesel before that. the show? I have today? literally oh, been turning this into it. Like, seriously, right. like, the, the things that he comes You're up with are starting right. to get worse and worse. You know, and I, I really think that you should really calm it down with, with the look, whole Vin Diesel talk. Look, you know? you know what? I don't want Vin Diesel knocking on my door and saying, hey, this guy invited me to dinner twice <laughs> on a pretense that we we're going to box afterwards and then make out. I don't want to have that problem. Will you stop saying this stuff, Jack? I mean, that would make a good quite, video. It's quite right? Quite <laughs> we'll go viral with that show. one. Yeah. 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 In both terms. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> we're approaching that mystical, magical time of year. The year that I love. The time of year I love. <laughs> And just really, really love. We're coming upon the haunt season. You're yeah. right. I mean, dun, Halloween's dun, right dun. around the corner, really. It is. No, because if you're a haunter like I am, you're a home haunt. I don't have enough money to a professional haunt. But I spend a ton of time making props and, and trying to plan out how I'm going to decorate the yard haunt and all this stuff. You guys need to check out That's Jason Glenn's Cotton haunt. Studios. You know. Be- face, before we go any further, I just want to congratulate you for bringing back the 1800s. You look really nice this evening. You know what? Don't don't mock those hats. I don't, I don't think that uh, flannel purchased at Fred Meyers is around in the 1800s. Maybe not Fred Meyers, but and I think it my was. pinch cap mm-hmm. might have been. Mm-hmm. But yeah, oh, yeah, still, no, it totally was. It totally was. It's corduroy too. It totally was. It, it is. It if is. you were to lay it, on it, it, no, it would no make no If you hit someone with it, it would slice their face open. If you hit someone with corduroy, it would just like cut them right away. So corduroy. Okay, so hey, pinch cap right story. I was working at a bar, at a bar as a bouncer. Wait, we can't talk about sports, but you can tell stories about. Oh no, because this is this is in, involved with what you guys are making fun of me for. Oh, fine. Okay, I was ahead. working and I was wearing ahead. a pinch cap, not this one, but a different one because I have <laughs> multiple pinch caps. And this girl walks up, <laughs> <laughs> and she takes the hat off my head, and she says, "Hey, I just want to let you know that me and my hot friends over there at the booth think you're way too hot for this hat." And I got mad. I took the hat back, and I'm like, I want to let you know, this is the last thing my father gave me before he died. And I walked away. Take that, my bitches! Boss, well, <laughs> my boss was sitting at the bar. So I sat down next to her, and it was a slow night at that point. So I you know, sat down and had a beer with her. And the girl walked back up, and she's like, hey, I want to really apologize. I didn't realize. I'm like, no, you know what? I don't want to talk to you. It's fine. We want to buy you a drink. Like, I don't want you to buy me a drink. Just go. It's cool. Just, just, I don't, yeah, go. So she walked away. And my boss was like, what happened? So I told her. She's like, oh my God, that's horrible. I'm like, yeah, the fucked up part is I bought this thing at Hot Topic like two, two weeks ago. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure your dad ain't dead yet. So my, no, my dad didn't, he's still alive. <laughs> My boss, she's like, oh my god, what's wrong with you? I'm like, what's wrong with me? Who does that to a person and expects attention in a positive way? I'm like, no, 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 no. Hey, your clothes are fucking ugly. Uh, do you <laughs> <want to hang? laughs> oh, me and my hot my friends think that hat's not good enough for you. <laughs> like, they fe- like they were just, I, I looked back, they were sad puppy dog eyes and shit, and I just shut them down. It was great. That's that, how you make people sad. That's how you make them sad. That brings up your own self-esteem. It really does. It, it really does. <laughs> it makes you feel good. The though. look on my boss's that, face that good, that good when feeling. I told her what mm-hmm. I did was the best thing in the entire world because she couldn't believe it. She's like, why would you do that? I'm like, because really cool. girls do crap like that to guys all the time and I'm over it. I'm like, no. I've been doing this too long, worked in bars too long, not a thing. Anyhow, back. that's my pinch cap story, guys. You're welcome. I love you in the face. Now. And now back to Jason Glenn. <clears throat> 
Right anyway, now, back Jason to Glenn 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 Studios. <laughs> he doesn't just make cool set pieces for haunted houses. He makes art pieces. He creates them. He okay. does. He creates them. He sculpts them. He makes these beautiful and also really creepy, sometimes comical stuff. You guys got to check it out. Cotton Studios on Facebook. Jason Glenn's Cotton Studios. Up, he hey, has Dennis and chat? chat. How are you, my buddy? Toledo! Toledo! What's up, Toledo? Got Toledo Spirit Hunters in the house. All right. All right. So, Although, uh, I'm allowed to shout. What? Loud noises. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, another thing. Uh, now, next week's show... We have an author on, a local author. He's a horror writer. Um, I'm pretty sure we actually uh, missed, uh, missed a... Uh, uh, Pro Prism Design? Yeah. I was going to get there mid-show, so we didn't oh. do it all at once. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. I didn't, I didn't want to over our, our, you know, our thanks, thanks, for, uh, thanks for letting one, us. Right? I mean, thanks for letting us. You this is why I'm the host. Yeah. you got to have timing. Th thanks, thanks for timing. letting us in on the end. You he know? doesn't play bass. No. You know he doesn't slap the bass? No slap the bass? No slap the bass? He might slap the bass. I have something. And I finally figured it out because I got an argument. And I'm not. Oh, Lord. No spoiler alert. No spoiler alert. Word. No spoiler alert. <laughs> what are we talking I'm, about? I'm speaking my piece on this, and that is the last I will speak of The Last Jedi. I'm not spoiling it. Don't worry. <laughs> Shut up. The fact <laughs> of the matter is, that movie requires you to be a moron and not understand basic military strategy nor intelligence of human beings. That so, is why so it I'm upset gold. me. I'm golden then, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it should have ended the first five minutes if it had happened in three hours. We did an you know episode what? about it, this where you were wrong. Because you're uneducated. I was not wrong. Actually, it was it, it, did, it did end within the first because I fell asleep. These are the two guys that just bang boring. doorknobs. Boring. Anyhow. <laughs> no spoiler there. Tim, I don't know. Just the room is split apparently on who liked the like movie. The spoiler flash. alert. <laughs> it's this is a good half. Just so, you know. so guys, uh, next week though, we do have a really, really good, cool show going on for you. We have uh, Matthew Brockmeyer is going to be on. He's a horror writer. I thought, and you, were, I thought you were going to say we weren't going to do a show. The next audacity. Week? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> we have a guest on next week. Right, next mm. week's my only day off. Good for yeah. you. <laughs> you have two weeks without your friend, so yeah, you're here. Uh, so he's going to come on and talk my about friend. his book, friend, The Kind. Yeah, I married my friend, so that's great. <laughs> his name is Ted. <laughs> <laughs> he's a nice guy. Can we, they can we, slept can we, they slept can we face be polite to our, our <laughs> guest? <laughs> Anywho, we're done now, so go ahead and continue. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Continue. So next week, we do have our uh, horror author on. He, he's a writer, and he has written a, a cool novel. And Actually, like I haven't read it, but I'm, I've ordered it. And it's called The Kind Nepenthe. Now, if you read the reviews on Amazon, one of them, crap. no, one of them compares him to Stephen King. Hmm. And one of them says it's dripping with evil, which sold me immediately. Hold on. It sounds romantic. It does. So, it does. I, <laughs> but it's I, about our area. Here's the thing. Ooh, even more. Humble right? County, the yeah. The grower I, area. I don't like Stephen King's writing. <laughs> I think it's very childish. I think it's a very poor form of writing. I think his writing. typing is pretty good. He's and typing. I think, yeah. now, with I think he, said, he types like he can, has a he, he gets his point across. Did you watch Lincoln? But he's, he's got like nothing on Anne Rice. I'm did you sorry. Watch, did you watch Lincoln? Oh, no. no. It's uh, just came out on one of those popular, you know, movies. So, guys, I've come to the realization shows. that Jack is just trying to sabotage the show for whatever reason he's doing no, it. No, I'm just trying to be the devil's advocate and insult Stephen King. Okay. You're just dumb. Okay. <sighs> Stephen King I feel writes like contradicting each other. Stuff. Word. Yeah. The devil's like, advocate and insult Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! We're all on board with this one. But we we do have uh, Matthew Brockmeyer on next week to talk about his novel, The Kind of Nepenthe. Yay, welcome, Matthew! <laughs> so that should be pretty cool. Seems like a cool dude. And he's written some other stuff as, I think he calls himself the, the humble bookkeeper. Lycanth. Oh. Online, because he's written a bunch of short stories online and, and, and stuff. But now he's written and actually published a novel. So that, like, that will be, yes. Hmm. How interesting. Like a furry. That's weird. But I'm, I'm sure. Not. I'm sure. <laughs> I didn't call I want it a that. onesie. Kid. I have a onesie. I have two onesies. I want a onesie so bad. One has footies. Yes, that's what I'm looking and for. A, right? And a hood. And a butt yes. release. I'm no, a chubbly guy. I'll be perfect dude, bear. I want the sad <laughs> part is, you, the, you, the, hey, the two onesies I have, as Ewok, all right? I have a dinosaur. <laughs> I have a dinosaur footie, pajamas. It has the butt thing. I, oh, butt yeah, hold on. Deadpool but it doesn't have the hood. Now, I have a Deadpool, Deadpool one that doesn't yeah. have the feet, but it has the hood. What the yeah. hell? Hold Get on. your guts in a row, in pajama chat. makers. In chat, in case you didn't catch that, I was being a sarcastic ass about Stephen King. 
Well, yeah. it's all right. You already alienated Jeez. all of our viewers. Did, Thank you, Jay. I do like Again, <laughs> two weeks in a row. Hey, we'll do a show on the Super Bowl. And then maybe talk about the Mandela Jack. effect. One of the first novels I ever read. This time, uh, Actually, the first novel I ever <laughs> read was Stephen King. The first oh, yeah, novel I ever read when I was around yeah. 13, I read um, Desperation. I was like 13 like years old. Life. That was the first one I read was Desperation. I like that. That was a good book. So I mean, it's Actually, that was his worst book. I didn't like the regulators. Letting us know. It's the same book. Yeah, but I don't like it, so. I preferred Desperation. It was it was more coherent. Regulators was just well. That's okay. That book didn't like you either. Mm. You know one book that's really annoying. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much you the touch Cimmerillion, it. The Cimmerillion. That's an annoying book. Okay, we're no, 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 no. We're not gonna do Tolkien bashing on the oh. show. I love Tolkien. I have a copy of the Cimmerillion. I have a second edition book, of the Cimmerillion, so you can literally <laughs> that book light your own nuts fucking, on fire. When did this become a roast the chest? I'm saying, <laughs> when did this become the book club? Oh, oh, it's football talk. Actually, now it's a book club. I haven't even watched it again. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, did you watch, have you been watching any of the, uh... uh no, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, actually, I did not. All right, so I do want to get to our topic of the night because we do I'm have one. Talk. We're going to talk about road stories. Stories that truckers have or road professional stories. drivers. Three of us here are professional drivers. Do you know the rules? No, no, of the no, 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 no. Two of them We're are professional no drivers. Do you know the rules One of, of the road? I drive professionally. Two of them are class A drivers. These two I mean, are class A drivers. I mean, you, you drive class 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 our buddy, Josh Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me correct you. Hey, Let me correct you. You drive bag. for professional reasons, but you don't drive professionally. I literally drive professionally. <laughs> <laughs> I literally. Okay, I can drive a class A truck. I know how. I don't have to. I don't do that. Lucky. Well, I, I you talked right over my joke. The whole, yeah, no one cares about your you joke. Now. You're not one of us. <laughs> <laughs> All of us work in the beer industry you. except for that guy. So, uh, we're going to do one story. I did stories. it one time, just like I just burned my leg with my fucking cigar because I bought my pants. Oh, my he God. He did Perfect. tell you to burn yourself. Oh, you should burn yourself a little more. Wait. Uh, we do not like self harm on Vanishing Gates, guys. Mm -hmm. Just. For the record, except when Jack does it. So, that said, <laughs> that's so romantic. Remember, guys, uh, it's down don't the worry, road, I'm gonna go home and beat myself vigorously street. when I get home. Okay. <laughs> hey, suicide's not funny. We tr we did an episode about suicide where I got talked over ad nauseum by this guy. So, we'll just move on. I'm good move on. Road story. Sons of bitches. Anyway, Dark so path. what is the creepiest thing you guys have heard about the road? Like, I've actually experienced uh, the black dog thing, but it wasn't a dog, it was a deer. Because usually one or the other. It's a dog or a deer. And have you ever gotten yeah, shot in Hobbs End? Mine was a, a phantom car that you've been following for miles, and you just shake your head and it's gone. It's gone? Because it's and like then, the stars are like reflection off the glass? No, it's just, just red lights. Just, red lights. Just, just like I'm just following really? this car, and you just blink again, and just it's fucking gone. So you pull over and piss on your tires and try to wake up. <laughs> I mean, no, so true, so true. So Urine true. always so wakes me up. Yeah. I, mean, I was actually and driving down a, uh, I was going down the road, and like, it was, there was like, the, there it was I'm like in town right. and everything, it was completely dark out, and then all of a sudden, like, I see headlights, and it's like coming at me, I'm like freaking out, because like, it's just like a, like a one-way road. And then, like, it just fucking just keeps on going. Now, a lot like, of that's... All the way through me, though. A like, of, that was fucking scary. All the way right through me. <laughs> right right through it, it bent was, him over. It was off the Traveled road. through the anus in the intestinal tract. It was, it was through perfectly the off the road. It came out of his mouth. It, it was, was a clear was, day. I, I mean... <laughs> 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 it was weird. Did, Did you feel fresh and clean afterwards? That's the question. It was... I was... I was zestfully clean. These pipes are clean! Perfect. Okay, so... Now, a lot of this can be racked up to pareidolia, where you think you see something, or it looks like your eyes are playing tricks on your brains mm -hmm. and putting things like mm -hmm. that. So my situation was I was driving um, with, I was riding with a, a Class A driver. We went to a city about an hour and 45 minutes north, and I had worked really late the night before, and I had to go to a meeting that next morning at like 5. So I was at the meeting, and I said, hey, can I just ride with him and finish my shift instead of working the next night? Because we're working the night crew at the time. Yeah, cool. Do that. So, did the whole shit. Coming back from Crescent City, which is the city north, and uh, Hank was the driver. And I, oh, I'm no. sitting there, and I'm like awake, trying to be awake, but I'm not awake. And I start. Off, I see a deer. I'm like, Oh, it's a deer! It's a deer! And goes, what? Where? 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 What? Where? where? And we're still driving. No deer. No deer. <laughs> No, no. Oh, dear. No, dear. No, dear. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm like, ignore me. I'm tired. Because <laughs> they realize what happened. Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. It happened. I have that. St I, I think I told the, my story of Black Dog. On yeah, you had one while you were driving. It's I don't know if I got, like, the full story and, like, what, everything that happened. 
Okay. So the night we go, and you it's kind of funny slash kind of sad. It, it's scary. <laughs> to me, it was scary. You had to be there. So we lost the heat in the car we were driving in this old Taurus, right? We were going up Old Highway 1. And have you guys ever been up Old Highway 1 towards Fort Bragg? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Love that road. <laughs> Dead of night. Fog. The fog yeah, was yeah. literally within feet. You could not see out the windshield because the of the fog. fog. We had no defroster, feet? no heat. And we were the on Highway the 1 going just, up the cliff you should, edges. You should do what I do. Just, just do the old Ace Ventura. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we yeah, exactly. I was leaning out the window with a freaking towel. Like, washing the window the whole time. I'm like, okay, we got this. And then, so we're going up old Highway 1 and we're on the cliffs. And you guys know the cliffs there, I imagine. It's, it's a gnarly, guys, that's a gnarly road. Even if you're, even it's, during it's the day. It's, yeah, pretty, even during the day. It's pretty bad if you're dumb. always worry because it's or small it's and people are really stupid. <laughs> so Yeah, your ass is just chewing away at your seat. Yeah, you're just like trying to get away from that edge because the edge is right there. Sweat grease going. Like, no, why did I wear pants while I'm driving? On the way it's up so there. Long. On the way up there, right? So we're going across the edge, and then we didn't realize. I was, I was glad I was leaning out because we couldn't Swamp see it. Up. I leaned out the window just in time to see road work, and we we managed to get around the road work just in time, barely. Right, so we're freaking out this whole time. We get into town finally. The fog is cleared up. He hits an armadillo on the way into town, right? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Or an armadillo. Well, hold on, no. There are no armadillos sure. in Northern California. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Why does the armadillo? I don't know why. It was a, um, it was a, what was a possum. He had a possum. <laughs> You're way off. <laughs> I was a little off. A little off. Oh, a little yeah. Off. Armadillo. Way off. On. Armadillo. One more soupy. Okay, better watch that. One is the only other animal that has to get leprosy. It gets better. <laughs> For our viewers it's better. Better. You yeah, have to listen. The armadillo. It's fine. <laughs> Your For our viewers in Fort Bragg, go to <laughs> Megan'sLaw.com Stop. and it then realize why you want better. to move. It gets Unless better. On it's the way into scary. town, just <laughs> on the outskirts, like a minute out, we hit the, the possum. We're driving through the center of town. Oh, hold on, let me clear this. Fort so Bragg, California is yeah, a place. Fort Bragg, California is a small town. Not Fort Bragg. Very tiny Not town. Bragg, the military installation. Fort Bragg, California. Totally different so place. We, we come out <laughs> and we go across Noyo Bridge. And we, you know, we're going over the harbor. I thought it was Yono. I think it's no, it's Noyo. It's the Harbor Bridge. We're going over oh. the Harbor Bridge, and we go on the outside of town. We leave Fort Bragg. We're going towards Casper, and he hits another armadillo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another friendly ghost mowed down his. He hits, he hits another. Uh, he hits another possum. Immediately hits another possum. Oh, possum! Was it the same one? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess you're stuck the first under time. there. Hold on, you're in Fort Bragg. I thought if you guys were living out there, you'd hit a possum and take it home and cook it. Okay, okay. Isn't that what you would do? Fuck you. They're just Anyways, in Fort Bragg. They don't live in so, Fort Bragg. Also, we're brothers. In... At this point, we're, we're, we're just going out. We're going towards Casper. And Gross. That's partially the only, there. That's the only thing that grosses them out. Me and her dad, <laughs> we're looking ahead of us. And he slows down. And I'm watching. And ahead of us. In the middle of the road, he starts to slow down because something stands up from the dead center of the road. Another a armadillo! No. <laughs> a completely, Big foot! A completely black figure that we, like, it either looked like a dog or a deer. And it's a red, dog red, or a deer. And it was fucking huge. Dog, like, it wasn't a tiny. A female deer. So where it was, it had to be about... guy who pulls my gas. Its back had to be about five feet off the ground. So about, like, black bear. So, no, uh, it, was, it was skinny. It was it was emaciated. It was tiny. <laughs> it was a hungry right? black bear. Because you killed all the possums. A chipper so, cabra. It was about, cabra. I have no idea what it was, but it got out of the road, right? And Dog man. It just came out of the middle of the road where it was dark, and then it went off the side and it vanished. It didn't go off the side of the road. It just disappeared off the side of the road. Like, it's literally, it's gone. So it came off the road? We have no idea what happened there. <laughs> So, anyways, it just off. it disappeared, and I stopped, he and he, he speeds up a little bit, and I look at him for a second, I'm like, did you just see that? And he goes, yeah, that. I saw that. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell was that? And I'm like, there's no such thing as two people seeing a black dog at the exact same time. <laughs> and especially not one that appears in the middle of the road, right, in, uh, right outside light. So there's it wasn't no possible dark. way. I mean, the two like, people sure, see sure. a black dog <laughs> one sure time. Happened a couple of times. My dog's mostly black, and I can only have... Three people see it. That's why we can't have any good stories on, on three with a half dog. <laughs> because once someone's actually trying to tell a story, interruptions must take place. Yeah, you're welcome. At least we have one person listening. Yes. Somewhere anyway, so my point is that <laughs> it wasn't a it wasn't a black dog. It was five feet fucking tall in the spot. It had to be. At Could've least a, it was taller than the fucking car. Maybe it was, it was a bear. Bird. No, it was emaciated. It was like a deer. It was thin as fuck. Well, you were tired, but it was though, right? tall. 
we were both tired, but we both saw this thing, and it disappeared. Like it, the roadway was clear. There was no bush or anything. It just vanished. Not no bush. That it was aliens, well, but it was no. Aliens. Listen, no bush. No ditches. No bushes. Listen, no trees. No bush. Five foot tall, emaciated, Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> Solved. But he said black. <laughs> it was like, like you said. Like uh, you said. Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> like shadow. Shadow. It looked like a shadow. Yeah. There you go. But then it gets better. It's shadow Hilton. It comes because back. On the way to Casper, we finally crossed the Casper Bridge to go in. He hits another fucking possum. I'm gonna start calling him the first fucking time. It was not. It's just that the ghost, the black dog's nothing. It's a jackadillo. We're killing another possum. It's a jackadillo. We killed another possum on the way. So that's three possums down. Three possums killed a black dog in a foggy night. It was an amazingly weird coincidence. Oh, what we saw night. Paris Hilton and killed three possums. <laughs> she was out looking for mates. <laughs> you know, like weird shit like that happens though when you're out there on the road and you get yeah. tired, man. I, I mean, like I said before, Especially the show, you have you ever hit three possums like, in the space of twenty minutes? Like fatigue. It's one hell of a drive. <laughs> on accident. Like, it's no. in different it's areas. Crazy shit. <laughs> oh hell yeah, man! It's, I've driven for miles doing the uh, newborn bobblehead. Many, many, oh, miles. Yeah. many miles, dude. And then I uh, you know come back too after I pass a mountain. How the fuck did I get here? Oh, I hate that, dude. I, I hate did that, that I mean, one fucking time. Dude, it happens well, to you me get, weekly. You get road weary. What are you talking about? You get road weary. Like I'm one of those guys. I don't get road weary usually. If I'm I driving, oh, I, I do. Don't. I do. If I'm driving, I don't. Like I can drive a 14 hour uh, drive mm-hmm. and be fine. As oh long yeah, as so some get water. So and be I, like I mean, not any problems. I, I'm gonna let you know. There's gonna be parts of it that I don't remember, but I can do it. Not for me. I, I, for I me, it's so like I'm. Like, I'm being on the road. Oh, I have yeah. no idea Daily. how I got to well, where I Well, for me, I'm like I hate my life. It might be all. The <laughs> 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 it might just be all the speed. I hate my life. It's really big I'm there. No. <laughs> I don't do speed, guys. But that reminds me of us coming back from Crescent City. Are we coming back from Oregon? We came back down from Oregon, and we took a trip all the way from fucking Salem, and we came all the way back in one night. After being on the road, or being awake and on the road all day, and we decided to come back. And halfway, or we got to Crescent City. My wife, um, she falls asleep, and I take over because I thought I was fine. Mm-hmm. M- fuck it, twenty or what? Like you guys know the hill leaving Crescent City, that hill that goes well, up. Yeah. 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 Right yeah. there, people are gonna die here. Boom! I woke up. <laughs> I woke up on that road because I had passed Vanishing out. Gates. Boom! Our hill, and I, I stopped. I, I had passed out on that road, and I was just like. Oh crap! <laughs> I had actually fallen asleep at the wheel, and I didn't realize it. And I was like, "Okay, this does." Okay, right, so we all so we all know to the drive from Klamath to Oric, right? Yeah. I can't yeah. tell you how many times I don't remember Klamath to Oric. <laughs> I mean, I wake up getting I'll, drunk I'll like, while you're driving. I'll, I'll be right. I, 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 I hit Oric. Where do you work for a beer company? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, point, point taken. Point taken. Uh, but no, I, I I get into Oric, and I'm like, "What the fuck just happened?" You know, like, where, how did I even, like, okay, so, like, even the steep downgrade, you know, we got that steep downgrade with all the windy turns, you know? Like, apparently, like, I'm just not coherent during those windy turns. Well, then you just zone. I think you just zone. Then most of your dates. Can I, like, uh, can I have the number of any relationship I've ever been in? You were so jacked up when you said that because we work for a beer company, we're talking about work. You know, I'm thinking of, like, dates on the beverages. (laughs) 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 Well, they weren't expired. I know. I was kind of like, I don't want to have to pour those out. (laughs) I was was like, what do you mean dates? I was like, all right, so tell tell me your story. I'm shit. Because let's, let's get out yeah. of the pareidolia thing and the, the road weariness and talk about some stories we've heard actually, being I, on the road. Before you run on that, I actually had a quick question. Yeah. Because I've no. seen, like, you guys you guys drive everywhere. Jay, you drive a lot of places. You've been mm. a lot of fu- freaking places. And I know, yeah. all, you know, truck drivers, you guys go everywhere. I have seen in instances where I, I see something going across the sky and then it just disappears. Well, you and I don't know if that's like a meteor, water, there, but usually they actually, like, change directions. I've seen one instance where one just changed the direction and, like, disappeared out of nowhere. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? Like yeah, absolutely. Things around. like that happen. Oh, oh, yeah. talked about my oh, UFO. Absolutely. I've talked about my UFO absolutely. experience back in the day when, when I was a We were really, really young, Jack. It was me and our other brother and and, and our dad. My sister's uh, mountain range and a cougar reservoir in Oregon. And actually, that's my... Really... A UFO I, being un- unidentified flying. Yeah, I told yeah. On our show. Unidentified flying. I remember. I'm not going to say oh, yeah, aliens, yeah, yeah. but it was weird. Sorry, that was There's a probing bad. moment. It wasn't, there was no probing. I was eating a bag of peanut M&M's, and mm. my brother was asleep in the back seat of the, the station. He was also wagon. allergic to peanuts. Which means that after the probing, <laughs> he found out later. M&M. later. later. And I still eat <laughs> I was eating, go- oh, I should bring the ghost pepper peanuts out. I'm horribly, fuck you. I used to, oh no, they're delicious. Down for a snack. 
Hey, Jack, you want to run in and get the ghost pepper peanuts? I mean, I'm not like all the rest of you have a golden butthole of the guts, all right? That's <laughs> 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 There's been way too much entrance into that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Now I just drop gold breaks of fire. <laughs> you know, like see, it's see okay, things, buddy. It's okay. Seeing things in the sky, man, like that's like really trippy though, because uh, there was this. Uh, I, I was coming back. I was coming back from Nevada. Where's my cigar go? Right there. Did I put it over there? Yeah, no, just you now. Guys just accidentally swapped. No, we no, didn't. No, mine doesn't no, have a tag on it. No, oh, okay. Okay. I, I kept this in my hand. Uh, but okay. No, I was on my way back from Nevada. It was probably about a. I was already on like a fifteen-hour day. And uh, um, I, I'm looking up in the sky because I see this, see this object in the sky, and I mean it couldn't be no more than maybe a mile or two away from where I was, you know, from the road. You know, I mean, yeah, that's how high up it was. You know, it wasn't that far. No, 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 no. I don't just hit that fucking button. And Calm down. but I was so tired. I looked at it and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" You know, and like, I kept on looking at it. I was like, "It looks like a bird." I was like, but the way that it's flying, it could actually be a plane. And, no, it Superman. wasn't Superman, okay? It <laughs> wasn't was Superman, all right? But no, seriously, like, I couldn't tell the difference between if that was actually a bird or a plane. <laughs> like, I really couldn't. And, like, as I'm, I'm driving, and I'm like, I'm hoping that I'm getting closer, but it feels like it's just, like, staying the same distance of what my truck is traveling. You know, I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is this? Like, it's, as farther down the road I get down, you know, I, I just, I still can't tell. I'm, I'm looking at it more than I'm paying attention to the road you know, at this Paco, point. sometimes you gotta, gotta get up to get down. Sure. No, that no. sure is a blessing for sure. life. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? While you're at it, stop and smell the roses. You know who's Rose? I don't. Are there two of them? Rose? Are they twins? Rose? With the same name? Are they I don't Rose know. Twins? Hmm. No, but I don't know. Long story short, it ended up being a damn bird. <laughs> You know, it ended up being the damn bird. You know? Oh yeah. man, I'm glad that you was. used that Wait. time to talk about seeing a bird in the Just fucking sky. Well, you know, you Who would ever expect to see know. a bird in the Did sky? It's not that. It's like you can't tell the difference. I couldn't tell the difference. I was so freaking tired. Shut up. Did I talk I'm about telling my stories. Did I tell did I tell you guys Damn. when I saw something a few weeks ago? What did you see? Hey, we're, we're trying to have Josh tell stories. Oh, I was just gonna finish about seeing, seeing things in the sky. Well, most of my stories are uh, self humiliation. I, I can't even speak right now. Hum, hum, <coughs> you just became an eminent. Humiliation. 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 Okay. Okay. This, it could have been a ghost involved. I'm not sure. Okay. You know. You know how how you uh, have one of them sneezes and you fart real hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that that wasn't the case. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not saying when it happened, but, but it was I was so distraught, <laughs> and I don't sleep in that sleeper no more. What <laughs> <laughs> is the orange bucket of doom? Okay, so that was worse. Hold on. There's, so I, I wanted to finish with what I was seeing, like what I had seen. I don't know if I, got, I told you guys what or I, I talked seeing. about it on show. Was it a shark? Because no. that's what he's talking about. I have done I have done that, and it hurts, and it's not good for you, okay? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean it hurts? A friend of mine told me the story that he... That hold, on, wait. Up, hold on, wait. Hold on. No, no. So I'm going to finish this story. If it hurts when you chart, you need to get checked. Uh, <laughs> right? I've never you charted before. You probably have I've never charted in my life. You've never charted? <laughs> no, I've actually never asked. What's wrong with you? You just said you I don't did. have all the experiences of life, okay? Maybe <laughs> later on I'll chart. I don't have all the experiences. <laughs> anyway, so, before I finish the story I was about to tell you, a friend of mine was talking to me. We were playing a game, and he talked to me and goes, I had the most embarrassing thing happen to me. What? I was in line today at the store, and I, I, I had to, I had to like cough and fart at the same time, and it happened. Just and happened. he banged his mom. And he just, <laughs> in the middle of the store, he's like, and in the middle of the store, all of a sudden, I was like, I just shouted out, "Ow, my ass!" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man. He covered it up so perfectly, but he, oh, yeah. so <laughs> he hasn't yelled out since he left Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Okay, so Roll with back to the story that happened here in town. That I don't know <laughs> on another note, on something in the sky. Doesn't... <laughs> Jesus, Merry Christmas. Uh, so it was a, it was a quiet night. It was a dark and stormy, <laughs> no, no, no. but quiet. It night. was a clear night. It was perfectly clear. There was no clouds. You could see the stars, and there was no noise. And that's there's, there's this is why it's important. It has nothing to do with what we just talked about. It, it's not just seeing things in the sky, right? So when a plane flies or a jet flies around our in our county, there's only certain airports. So usually they're really close and you can hear them. Even if they're far off, you can hear them generally. Mm. 
It, especially if they're Not the really. small Cessnas, you know, like the little the road We only have small planes in this area. Yeah. We don't have large so, planes. The other night, or not the other night, this is like two weeks you, ago. Because uh, you know, I don't know if I, I don't know if I talked about this because I couldn't remember plane. it really well. <laughs> but it freaked me out because I saw two lights, two red pinpoint lights that looked like a plane's lights, you know, blinking on and on mm-hmm. or off and on. Mm-hmm. And behind <laughs> it, about <laughs> what had to be probably heaven and hell. I'd say about probably about a hundred or about maybe a mile behind it or so. There was one single red light, a solid light. That was it. Was it being pulled over? <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. The story. Pull the aircraft over. This is why. This is what I, I don't know because um, I was uh, I was talking to my wife about it. She said that it was just planes. So don't worry about it. Because what happened was, in a few minutes later, the red light got the, the red light behind got really close to the two blinking lights, and all of a sudden, more lights turn on. And they're right next to each other. I've never seen planes do that. They're like right behind each other, the tail mm, of each other, just hanging out. And then all of a sudden. Like, no noise. No noise whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, they just go off like this. Well, okay. Nowhere near the airports. I can tell you Nowhere near happened. any of the airports. Mm. The rear plane was... <laughs> when, when, when a mama but plane... <laughs> you know how I know? The rear plane was the mail plane. You've never been, uh, you, you've never been uh, told to... You're landing <laughs> much. You never been to an uh, airport. They were making before, have you? <laughs> when a mommy plane and a daddy plane love each other. <laughs> when a mommy plane and a daddy plane love each other, they just yeah, they make baby planes. <laughs> so, anyways, it was, it was just really weird to me to see like that that plane individual plane. line. Well, <laughs> do you know what you call it when when a daddy plane inseminates a mom plane? The point is, a wing seriously, <laughs> it was just it was just weird to see one plane that it's had like not too bad. only a single light on, and then the <laughs> other one had no lights on, good. and then all of a sudden they both had all the lights on. They were bright, and then they were right next to each other, which isn't normal for planes, right? They don't fly next to each other. Mm-mm. And then in the, it's like it the dead of night. <laughs> <laughs> And the then the daddy plane just flew intense. away like a dick. <laughs> no comment. Whoa, whoa, uh, Bobby left the no comment. <laughs> no the mommy comment. plane kept flying straight. The daddy plane flew away. <laughs> well, the mommy plane can't dirt get bag, food stamps if daddy, daddy plane hangs out. It's a dirtbag so, plane. Right? <laughs> Alimony plane. Deadbeat plane. <laughs> <laughs> this is... You know what? I take it back. Last but we week digress. Was the worst. <laughs> oh, this is way better than last week's show. We're not talking about the Super Bowl. <laughs> we're having, we're gonna get. We have like we have like freaking five viewers. This is episode sixty good. of Vanishing Gates, guys. Mm. Episode. And now you learned about the plays with that, the bees. With that, with that being said, you know, please like, follow, share, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> you know, do what it Pretend. is that you have to do to be able to make us. <laughs> no, I don't want to be famous. Pour us out of your own stories at Van- We'll uh, write a book for you yeah, about no, the, you the guys, birds of the planes. If you guys have experiences <laughs> mating planes. <laughs> Road stories, you know, I mean. Wait, no, we, gone, we, we need What's someone that? who can I'm draw this book for us. Yeah, I've written Book of the Road. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm just saying. Slight not at the diner. That is going to be the first book written by Vanishing Gates, that? The that? Birds in the Plains, and we need someone to draw it for us. I can do that for you. We're going to make a children's book out of it. <laughs> no, we're not. No. going to no. explain the nature We are of not. No. No. No children's. This is not a, a child-friendly It's like the show. go the fuck to sleep book. But we are. But we, That's on the shelf over here. But we are going to do Vanishing Sports. No. You guys will do uh, Paco and Jack Talk Sports, or... Paco Jack Sports. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> roughly what we were talking about. Or Paco Jack's Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Roughly. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey. We were roughly talking hey. about this. I don't Sounds remember rough. why I wrote the number 249, but it was important, and now we've totally lost it. <laughs> it's it wasn't. It was people disappear? It wasn't a plane number, No, was it? it was something different. Can't remember what it was. Hmm. Well, it's good thing you didn't write down what it was. You just wrote it down. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had a point to get. No explanation. Was that like just right your prostate? <laughs> no, that's actually fixed. I had that stomach surgery a couple of years back. They pulled some polyps, but now I get sick all the time. Like last week, I was sick. I had this flu for like almost this entire damned year, and now I'm better. But I spent this entire New Year 2018 sick. That's why last week these knuckleheads decided, oh, we're just gonna take the show, bend it over, and make it better, and. Put a shotgun in his butt and blow its brains out from his butt. <laughs> you know, people love sports talk. That's one way to clear you out. 
People love <laughs> right? Let Jay and Chat know you're right, on the tops. Exactly. All right, so exactly. Uh, road stories. Um, and I'm talking just about lot lizards, although this could be fun to talk oh, about. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but, All right, yeah, tell us your creepiest yeah. lot lizard story, Josh. Oh, dude. I mean, there are some haggard lot lizards I've seen they, before, and oh. they, they go by the name. <laughs> um, don't they? Um, I mean, all leathery. I mean, shit. like, if, if, if there's anything stereotypical in this world, it's lot lizards. Mm. I mean, they are very stereotypical. The only thing I hate about them is that they don't leave you alone when you're trying to sleep, always mm. banging on your sleeper. Want company? No. Want company? No. <sighs> and then I just, just, just drove out. What Transformers roll out? This was just a miscommunication. Yeah, really you need to know solicitation hey, sign. I anymore. have standards, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My but standards was... are really low, but they're not that low. Dude, dude, I don't think we ever talked about Fred Ward on the show. Not Fred. Was it Fred Ward? Fred Mercury? No, the dude locally who was a driver, long haul driver that was cutting up prostitutes and burying them under his trailer. Oh, it was Fred Ward. Wow. He actually walked into our local police station with a boob in his hand and tossed it on the counter and said, I've been murdering people. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got bored. Oh. I'm just here to let, I think let it was Fred. you know. I think it was Ward. His last name was Ward. I think it was Fred or Frank or oh, something. Oh, God. Are we related huh. to him? <laughs> are you sure it was a Montgomery? Oh, no, it was a Ward. His last well, name was yeah. Ward. I know that it because was his first name Montgomery. Uh, <laughs> no relation. <laughs> no. No? He didn't sell magazines to <laughs> sell... Finger Hut style yeah, products. Yeah, what was it that, that one guy? He's had finger sandwiches. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it right now because I can't remember the story. Fuck it. All right. So, That's anyways, true. we were talking about, like, different about shit bangers. that you guys have seen on the road. Like, <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the weirdest thing you guys have actually seen? Like, not fucking funny, but actually the weirdest thing you've seen. Okay, so road. I saw that, that UFO thing, the, the UFO setting I had. That was kind of weird. Uh, I've heard people talk about Bigfoot, Sasquatch, as they're driving. <clears throat> That's him. I've heard people. No, I've heard other people. L- L- no, he's not big. I've been street streaking out. before. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's got a great beard. It's street streaking. Well, yeah, sometimes that- you got it. You know. Remember we had the dude that wrote in about the um, the Bigfoot thing. He thought it was a Sasquatch that had that predator style like oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the camouflage. Parallel. Didn't even watch it. Yeah. Sorry, that was my bad. You were. You were here on the show. You it was our, our sh- only fan mail that we've ever had. No, the video. Had the man, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. We have something to chat right now that. Dave Hoover says that um, all he's getting is audio that the video's frozen. Well, well, Dave, it's not my fault. You live in Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's not that. I mean, it is frozen. Get you better, can actually look over it. It really is frozen. Hey, you know what? Get a better internet Hey, hey Dave. That's uh, us. Guys, <laughs> if, if you're not able to watch it right now, make sure you go to the YouTube channel because it will be up and not laggy and stupid on YouTube. Facebook kind of sucks all the butt when it comes to live streaming. We keep having issues with it, so... Yeah, we're having way too many issues with Facebook. We've got to start thinking about a new platform. We really do. We, we really do, do have to think about a new OBS. platform. I was thinking about actually building a platform and jumping off. Are you sure this doesn't have to be updated or anything? <laughs> yeah, do you have you checked for updates <laughs> on the like Coding CSA. overloaded. <laughs> Consider turning down. Yeah, it's probably OBS. It might be yeah, our... I think uh, it's OBS. Have you, have you updated this at all lately? <clears throat> yes. But the problem is this computer can only handle so much. Mm. So, guys. I bet on. you the frame the, the frames are way too high. you got to turn down the... Uh, I think my beard's taking up most of the pixels. It is. It's your yeah, massive it's ass, <laughs> glorious Viking beard. You should braid that motherfucker. It's I, I, I didn't even comb it. I bottom. thought it was just gonna my... be like a fucking uh, a mic show. Oh no! Apparently there's a no, camera, no, and I didn't put on my makeup. Thanks nothing. for not watching, bro. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was horribly insulted they, today. Thanks for letting us know that you don't pay <laughs> attention on. to the show. I was horribly insulted today, as I where I work, I cannot <laughs> have a glorious beard, which I would love to have, as my wife Who reiterated to me water? that. I don't know, but I need more artisan water. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Can you grab two, please? That, um... No, I just need more altogether. She, she more shared a post three. saying that... Three. If, three. three. Grab three. If, you're, if your dad doesn't have a beard, you have two moms. And <laughs> so... <laughs> as okay. I can't grow a beard, that was great. Well, it's a good thing you're not a dad. Why so. Why not just marry your enemy? my daddy. Best, best of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's your daddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's that's great. <laughs> Wait, I'm not a dad. That's a good Steady point. slope into daddy crashing. I just digress uh, at this point. So, mm. now we should probably get to him, or Josh, our guest, and see if he would like to tell stories on the road. Would you like to tell stories? He no? Been. Okay. He's talking about yeah. lot lizards. Well, yeah, that's right. What's, I was asking, what's He's the creepiest away. lot lizard you've ever dealt with? Well, that's a good thing. I didn't deal with her. You don't really <laughs> you you don't ever really, want to, like, stalk and follow you? You don't really deal with lot lizards. I mean, if you're smart, 
you know, and you want to keep, fuck you, you want to keep your extremities and shit like that. You know, you you want to not do it. Well, I'm gonna tell you about the dangerous ones, the ones that look like fucking porn stars. I've seen I've seen some AIDS. fucking hot ones in Amarillo, Texas. AIDS. Thank God I did not have any money. <laughs> oh, <thank> God. <laughs> I'm so glad I couldn't afford their services. <laughs> we don't condone prostitution here on this Best guest ever. <laughs> that's I'm the only so time. I'm so glad I couldn't afford their I'm, services. That's the only time I was ever happy of being broke. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine so. Here on Benji Gates, we do not condone prostitution. But we also so don't say it's here? bad. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I don't think we really give too much crap about it, but whatever. <laughs> we are pro background checks for prostitution. We are pro, <laughs> pro, and 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 screenings. Screenings. <laughs> lots, lots. You want to hoard up, hoard up, baby? We love you. <laughs> Someone's gonna do it. You know, we talked about sports, and that was bad. And that I know, was, right? We're talking about prostitution. Now. Now like, yeah, uh, people watch oh this. Oh no, now it's going. We're not gonna watch the sports thing. You know what? No one's watching this. Fuck you. <laughs> people are watching. People are loving. No. No, they're not because it's frozen. People are not watching this frozen ass thing. Like two people. (laughs) We have 42 subscribers on YouTube. We're winning! Yeah. Yeah. We're going places. It's weird because we have more people following on Twitter than we do on Facebook. And no one watches us on Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) We don't really do much on on Twits. We don't do anything on any social media. We don't tweet much. We are terrible at social media. Twats. That's our problem. <laughs> All right, so let, what have we established in the show? We have uh, nothing to talk about aside from crass humor and bad jokes. We thought we had more stories. Oh. We have terrible senses of humor. Oh, you got one? Yes, I got one. Oh, Speaking oh. of phantom cars, like following one, I got pulled over by a phantom cop. Oh, nice. Phantom yeah, cop? I see some lights behind me. I'm like, God damn it. Did he do, a, did, so did he do a phantom inspection too? <laughs> <laughs> so I pull over. You and feel everything. a thing. Uh, <laughs> my trainer comes out. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're getting pulled over. So we're sitting there for like half an hour waiting for the cop to show up. Uh-huh. So I finally had enough, walk out there, nobody's behind us. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? No way. Losing no. all kinds of time. I think I'm fucking getting high of fumes or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> just tired and wore out. No, I was. I just started my day. I, I was only driving for like four hours. It's all the methamphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Basalt. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone the use of bath salts, guys, because. But it does make your skin feel nice and. Smooth. I was gonna say we condone it to the extent of exfoliation and beyond. But that. not zombification. We don't. Yeah, we don't agree don't. with zombification. Well, bath salts. That's not true. If you I can mean, actually make I'm an army totally of zombies, I'm not totally against it. I'm, I'm able to shoot things. Right. Like I'm not against it. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm against it up it. to a certain level because I'm just not ready for it just yet. You well, know, like, once on. I get ready for I'm it, ready then for it. I won't be against what makes it. You it cannot be ready for a zombie I'm apocalypse when you're ready getting laid. We live in Utuika. Of course we're ready. The f- it's been frozen. The audio is stuttering. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're, we're going to end the show because apparently my internet's become doofy as I'll get out. Oh, no! Check us out on the YouTube, though. Go watch it on YouTube, please. They can't hear you. Yes, they can hear me. It's <laughs> stuttering. Oh. I'll say so. Check us out on the YouTube. Maybe if you stutter, they'll actually it'll like compensate for I it. I stutter too much. Write it down. Too. And hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, no, because the go. audio and video are not Check meshing well. Well, okay. what what a wonderful show this was. Don't forget to like, follow, share, subscribe, mm-hmm. share your stories Here with right. us at vanishinggates at gmail dot com. Two G's. We will read them on the air. I want to thank our buddy Josh for being on the show. Thanks, Josh. We want to thank our sponsors, Dio Sandwiches at 429 Grotto. Thanks for getting the Pro Prison Designs. Appreciate that. I can't even say that. Pro Prison Designs. Hey, that's a tongue hey, twister. Hey, hey. Maybe, 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 maybe. I figured I'd stutter. I figured to see if it worked. Jason Glenn's Cotton Studios. Guys, thanks for watching. Check us out next week when we are joined by Matthew Brockmeyer as he talks about his book, The Kind Nepenthe. Should be a good time to be had by all. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on Vanishing Gates once more, the quest for actual content. Um, <laughs> this is a sequel. I think we should. Uh, it's, the sequel will be the quest for staying it's on like topic. A, it's like a WoW quest right there. Mm. <laughs> yes. It's like Minecraft. I cannot wait for the next WoW expansion, speaking of which. Uh, yeah, I can. Bye. Bye, <laughs> All right, guys. Good. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye, Vashers. Hey. Hey. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.